Hey guys, Kevin Muldoon here. As you can see, I am in Paris. This isn't green screen, by the way, in case you think I'm just standing in front of a green screen in my house. I am in Paris. There are human beings around me. Um, for the people who were asking the other day, I'm using that little Benro tripod selfie stick, and it's actually okay. I've got it just on the grass just now, and it seems to be working okay. It's not the best selfie stick in the world because it's a little bit thick at the bottom, you know, it's a little bit bigger than a normal selfie stick, but it's quite good. So I was here for a conference, it wasn't a, a tech thing, it wasn't a geek thing, well, it is a geek thing, but not technology. Um, so that's why there's not been any videos the last few days. I was planning on doing lots of videos for this, and, you know, I bought the new selfie stick, I bought a new phone, I had all the equipment to record videos and I've been really lazy, I did nothing. So, there's that. But... I don't mind, it was good, I just wanted to enjoy myself. Um, I've been getting to know the HTC U11 phone as well. I've, I've, I'm starting to realise what it can do and things like that. And I, I think the, the, um, the squeeze, the edge sense, the squeezable gimmick that the, the HTC U11 got. When I first got it, I wasn't sure how much I, I would use it. But after being, you know, travelling for a few days, spending time here, taking lots of photos, walking around taking photos, the, the edge sense thing is fantastic. I don't think it's a gimmick. I think it, this is something that I'd want to see in my next phone. I think this is something that works with the Google Nexus 6P. Um, you could always get access to the camera, the video camera or the photos by double pressing the power button. And you can still do that with the HTC U11. But just being able to just squeeze and then take another photo like that, you know, just by squeezing your phone, I did think it was going to be a gimmick, but it's actually pretty fantastic, and I would like to, you know, I think if, when I go to another phone, you know, you know, say I buy another phone in the next few months or the next year, I think I would miss that feature. So I'd actually say kudos to HTC for doing something different, because I think that, the, you know, all the phone companies, all you've really got is a, a, a slab of plastic, you know, with electronics and a glass, piece of glass in the front and some cameras on it. So, you know, there's not too much, if you look from a design point of view, there's not much difference between an iPhone and, you know, a Samsung SA, an HTC U11, a Google Pixel. It's just, they all look very similar. It's just a big, a big screen with the electronics and a camera. Um, but I think what HTC, they've done is, it wasn't a brave thing. They've not done anything too crazy, but I think it's a good feature, so that's cool. Um, as far as the audio goes, though, I, I did a video about this last week where, I pointed out that when you record in high-res audio, it uh, records in the F MKV file format. And that means you can't upload to YouTube, you can't even upload it to Premiere Pro, you need to convert the file. And I forgot about that today, I was sending a, a silly little video to my friends, and I, I didn't even realise it was on, on high-res audio, and I tried to send it through WhatsApp, and the video couldn't be sent, because it was MKV uh, file format, so it, it doesn't even work with WhatsApp, it just doesn't work. So I had. Thankfully, I had recorded from the front camera, which is 1080p. I used VidCompact to convert the file, but it's kind of annoying that the different audio mode, which is, a, you know, it's a good way to record higher class audio. It's a, a bit annoying that it's recorded in a file format that you can't use. You always need to convert. So I, ho I hope this is something HTC fixes in the year 11 in the future, perhaps. Maybe they can't record an MP4 if it's an audio quality issue, but there's maybe there's other file formats they can use that are accepted by YouTube and Premiere Pro and WhatsApp and things like that. Um, I'll stand up for a second again, just to remind you guys I'm not in the green screen. Now, I'm not actually going up, up, up the Eiffel Tower. I will bring you down a little bit. I've done it before, so I, I don't really feel the inclination to do it today. Because it's like an hour or two to get up and you know spend time up there. <clears throat> I've done it before, so... Plus, I don't actually have the time. I need to get back to my hotel in the next hour or so. And at this point, I just want to get some uh, water down me. But um, the big announcement, which will be coming in a few days, from a tech point of view, is the, um, the OnePlus 5. So that's going to be announced on June the 20th, so stay tuned for that. I really need to decide whether... I've just bought a phone, but I'm really tempted to buy that as well, because... It looks fantastic, and just from a curiosity point of view, I think it looks like a great phone. So I'm going to check that out as well. Um, stay tuned anyway, guys, and I'll speak to you all soon. But this is hello and goodbye from Paris. Till next time, guys. Take care. I'm out.